Hi everyone and welcome back to Newegg TV. My name is Paul and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and overview of this new 120mm liquid CPU cooler from Cooler Master. This is the Iceberg 120L Prestige. Let's start off with a closer look at the retail box. This is a closed loop liquid CPU cooler. So you get the pump and block, you get some tubing to connect it to the radiator, which is a 120mm radiator in this instance. It is a pure copper radiator, so that's going to help with uh, heat dis dissipation. Uh, also, the water block is copper. It uses microchannel and jet stream technology, and this was designed in Germany, hence the sort of German moniker iceberg. Flipping around to this side, we have some detailed specifications listed right down there. So, for instance, radiator dimensions, fan dimensions, uh, also airflow, noise generated, uh, copper, of course, for the radiator and cold plate. Cold play technology features jet stream enhanced and bi-directional micro-channel design. The tubing is black PVC, 5 16 inch inner diameter and 7 16 inch outer diameter. Also you get black anti-kink coil protection, German design axial rotor pump, uh, pump head pressure of 2.2 meters, pump volume of 400 liters per hour, and finally the detailed pump specs listed there at the bottom with the 50,000 hour lifetime. Uh, finally, let me flip over to this side because we do have uh, over here, actually over here, some uh, actual close-up measurements. So if you guys want to take a closer look at that, for example, the height of the radiator, length and width of the radiator, as well as the uh, listed specs for the pump and block. Taking a look inside the box, we have a foam insert. Ooh, and we have uh, pretty much all of the hardware that you need for installation. It also provided you with two 120 millimeter fans so you can get yourself set up with the push-pull configuration right off the bat. Everything is, of course, covered with plastic to keep it nice and protected. And a little insert here because there is a 240 millimeter version of this as well, which I think would ship in about the same size box. Uh, but here's at least a quick look at the manual right off the bat. So that will sort of guide you through the uh, procedures as for what's included as well as basic installation instructions. And uh, we won't spend too much time on that. Let me get the accessories organized and then we'll go over those. So we have everything laid out here. Of course, we have the uh, cooling unit itself here on my left. We'll finish with a closer look at that. The manual, of course, which I've already shown you briefly. Uh, you also have the two included 120 millimeter fans. These are more optimized for static pressure, um, which is typical of uh, radiator-based fans. And then uh, each of these also ships with a little plastic spacer, or I should say rubber spacer. So you can use that uh, to uh, go up against your case or up against the radiator, and that will provide a bit of extra sound and vibration dampening. You also get a little syringe of a thermal material compound, uh, and that will, of course, be used between the CPU and the block to provide an adequate uh, heat transfer between the two of those. You also get a little three-pin extension cable here, so you can use these, uh, you can use this with the uh, cable from the uh, pump if you need a little bit of extra space on that or you can use it for either of the fans because uh, they all use three pin connections that just gives you a bit of extra cable length now for the mounting solution itself we have a couple different sets of hardware of course this is compatible with AMD and Intel sockets uh, so for AMD sockets uh, AM2 or AM3 or AM3 plus you use these brackets which clip onto either side of the pump slash block for Intel at least all of the Intel sockets except for 2011, you'll use these two clips. And again, those pop on on either side and give you kind of a square layout. And then you have uh, these um, screws here, which are kind of uh, extended threaded points. And so those uh, will mount down onto the motherboard and give you uh, four points in order to drop the block down on top of once you've installed the brackets, of course. So you get a couple here that will um, thread into either the uh, stock 2011 backplate if you're going to use those, uh, the AMD backplate if you're going to use these, and then if you're using any of the other Intel sockets such as uh, 775, 1155, 1156, or the upcoming 1150, or uh, the uh, 1366 if you're still rocking an x58 platform, you'll use these spacers. And these simply have a little plastic plug which will drop down onto the motherboard and snap into your CPU mounting hole, and then uh, you thread the rod down onto it like so, and once threaded all the way down, that'll keep your clip extended right there to keep it secure on your motherboard. And then from there, of course, you have the four um, rods sticking up. You'll simply use these. These are little thumb screws. You pop in a, a uh, spring like so, thread down a little uh, washer onto the rod, and then you simply hand tighten that down as snugly as you can. 
Finally, over here on the right, you have uh, the mounting hardware for your fans or your radiator, depending on how you're going to be mounting them. So you have some longer screws, eight of those that you can thread through the fans into the radiator, or if you're going to be mounting the radiator directly to your case, you can use these smaller or, uh, screws, and of course, all of those are going to be using the little Allen key to tighten them down. Now for a closer look at the Iceberg 120L uh, cooling unit itself. So this is the block slash pump, and actually it's got a little window on it, so you can see the pump right through there, and when the pump is working, you'll see it spinning around. It's got kind of a steampunk vibe going on, which is kind of cool. Uh, apart from the pump inside there, you also have the integrated block, so you can see the uh, cold plate there at the bottom. This is the plate that actually makes contact with the CPU, and uh, remember to remove this before using it. It's got some plastic on there to keep it clean and free of oils from your skin or whatever else might be touching it before it's actually installed and attached to your uh, CPU. Now, if I flip around to this side, you can hopefully see the uh, bit of logoing going on there. So you got the Cooler Master Iceberg logo. You'll also probably notice there is a fill port. Now, um, this is not recommended to be a user serviceable unit. Um, however, there is some of that functionality built in. If you're not familiar with the vagaries of water cooling, it's recommended to just simply treat it as a closed uh, loop unit and not to worry about the fill port or anything. But it is there, so I did want to point it out for those of our users who might be familiar with that sort of thing. Uh, you also have, of course, your three-pin uh, power cable there, and that is, of course, to provide power to the pump in order to make sure that there is liquid, liquid flowing through the cooler. Here's your connection points for the tubing, and then the tubing, as you can see, has a pretty cool uh, spiral coil going around the entire thing, and that is, again, to prevent kinking uh, of the cables, so that will help you to orient it to your preference in your case to get everything set up how you like it to be, depending on, of course, where you're going to place the radiator. And uh, speaking of radiator, let's finish on that. And uh, here's the connection points from the tubing to the radiator itself. Flipping around to this side, you can see your 120 millimeter radiator. Uh, you got your, uh, your sort of pseudo reservoir at either end. Uh, and then, of course, the copper uh, uh, build material that's used right there. And again, that's going to provide much better heat transference as well as dissipation. You actually can sort of see the copper, depending on how I angle this, and sort of see through the radiator. But you can see a little bit of the copper. This is mostly painted black, uh, but you will also notice if you purchase this, especially if you were to compare it to an aluminum radiator, you'll notice a significant difference in the weight because copper is more dense, which also assists with its heat transference capabilities. And that is going to wrap it up for this video, folks. Once again, this has been the Cooler Master Iceberg 120L Prestige featuring the pure copper radiator as well as water block. I'm Paul with Newegg TV, and if you enjoyed today's video, you can find more on our Newegg TV YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to like the video if you found it useful. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you next time.